Mandy is a 20 year old social media icon who loves television, especially friends, who is the sweetest, kindest, most caring person. She's a little love bug who loves to snuggle. And above all, she's my sister and my role model. Mandy, I feel like, is our lighthearted, funny, kind of brings the joyful part to everything. I think Megan is more of my, what you would call A player, very serious, organized, driven, structured. Megan is 19 years old. She's a good sister to me. She loves me. She's also my role model. And I love her and I miss her. And I think the two of them together are almost the perfect blend because Mandy, I think, has really given Megan a great appreciation for the gifts that she's been given, but also embracing and being joyful about little things, small achievements. And I think Megan has brought to Mandy that sense of achieving and trying. So it's been a really great blend of two kind of almost extreme personalities benefiting each other by teaching each other the other maybe side of life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I was very blessed to have Mandy be the first child that I had. We um, probably didn't expect her to have Down syndrome and be born with a disability, but once she was, it was kind of a chance for me at least at that age to reset. And then we found out she had a heart defect that's very, very common um, with children with Down syndrome, and it required um, two holes in her heart to be repaired and a valve replacement. And we weren't sure how quickly she would be strong enough for that. And it was unusual because it's usually at about a year, but at four months, right before her first Christmas, they told us that she was ready for surgery, had gained enough weight, was doing really well. She was rolling over, which was very unusual. So we got through our first Christmas and went in right after Christmas. And at that time, I had just found out I was pregnant with Megan. And that was, I remember, one of the most interesting, like, I think Megan's like a stressor a little bit because when I was newly pregnant with her, it was like a really intense time, but I also feel like I was so blessed that she was with me during that very, it was very difficult to turn Mandy over. And I always look back and I feel like that was when Mandy and Megan and I really first became super bonded, was when I was pregnant with Megan, Mandy was recovering in the hospital. I was sleeping in the crib in the hospital with Mandy, not going to the Ronald McDonald house to sleep at night. And like the three of us, you know, at that point, I think is when it was like, this is us for life. The three of us are always gonna be very close. I mean, I was so excited to come here, but it was hard to leave like my two best friends and my two closest like family members um, and be not that far away, but far enough where I wasn't seeing them every day. Manny and my mom too have been a part of every single day of the 18 years I'd lived prior to Stanford. I didn't go a day without seeing them. I didn't go a day without seeing my sister's face. And that was hard. I couldn't just give her a hug and Especially if I was having a bad day or something, I always said to my friends, like, gosh, what I'd give for a hug from my sister right now. Always when I'm home and I'm having a bad day or I'm stressed or I'm tired, without even saying anything to Mandy, she'll just come crawl into my bed and lie with me and just snuggle up to me. It's like she has this innate sense of knowing when something's wrong. and I just miss that and I miss being home and being able to be around them all the time. I don't think any of us realized what day-to-day -day life here was going to be like without the joyful Megan every morning coming down with a smile on her face and we missed her, sorry, <laughs> we missed her so much last year. How are you guys? 
Lisa, I get to see you! Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. I'm just so grateful that I live close enough and that I have family close enough that I can always have someone or almost always have someone at the game. I love looking in the stands, whether it be my mom, my dad, Mandy, my brother. I love being able to look in the stands and know like, okay, everything's okay. My family's here. Like, it makes me feel very special and I wouldn't change like it for the world. Get me! What's your favorite part of like when you come to the game? What do you like the most? I like when I get the tick when I go to the ticket booth. I get my tickets. I get Megan the heart. She gives it back to me. <laughs> it's just good because um she is my sister. Yes. I'm part of the her volleyball team. Megan's leather jacket. This 2017 past elf. Oh yeah, on the ball. I got this ball. I've never felt even an inkling of anything but love and welcoming and uh, friendship from everyone through in and out the program that we've met, including when Kevin came in. I mean, it was, it's been seamless. I think Mandy tells herself, she's like, I'm part of the team. Like she counts herself as another one of the players. That's how close she feels to all the girls. And on any given day, I think she has a new favorite or a different favorite other than her sister, of course. But um, it's been such a remarkably wonderful experience to participate in a program with the caliber of athletes Stanford has and just see how down to earth and genuinely nice each one of those girls is in their own way. Not one would walk by Mandy and not hug her or high five her or, you know, reach out to her. They just, they've been amazing and spectacular. It feels good to have so many homies up in Stanford. I have so many, um, like I have one thing, in, one, something in common with, with Jenna. We love Big Time Rush. Uh, she makes me, um, she, I get good hugs from, from her. She loves me as a friend. Me and Cindy, we love Kesha, <laughs> of course. Um, oh yeah, my handshakes with all my friends, my homies. Seeing Mandy after the games is just so much fun because the hugs she gives are just, first of all, non-stop, second of all, so warm, um, and it's always fun because we get to talk about how our main homies and Big Time Rush because we both are huge fans. Well, being a main homie is not a title I take lightly. It's, it's a pretty huge honor. And it's just, it's always nice to just know she's there and know she's rooting for you. Um, especially for me as someone who like doesn't always have her family at the games. Um, it's just nice to know that Mandy is there and you're, she's your number one fan. It's fun. We are, it's, it's such a joy to be participating with Megan and be so involved in this amazing experience that she's been gifted with. I mean, it's an incredible journey and we're just lucky. We we're like, we just love following you. The other thing about Megan is, um, my God, um, I have tons of favorite things about Megan. <laughs> my favorite thing about Mandy is the effortless joy she brings to others. No matter the circumstance, no matter what, I never know how hard of a day Mandy has. I couldn't put myself in her shoes, but I never would think that she has anything but a good day. I would never think that anything's hard for her or anything. I just, she walks into a room and she just brings the joy with her. She brings the sunshine with her. You can't look at Mandy and frown or be sad. You look at her and it automatically brings a smile to your face. It's incredible to have such a light in your life. Okay. We love Mandy.